This is the time of year when highway construction season ramps up and drivers need to be on the lookout for active highway construction work zones like this one in Montgomery County, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. These orange traffic cones have been draped in black ribbons to deliver a somber message. And the 130 cones represent the lives of workers lost in 2015. Six of those came right here from Maryland. These images and the words spoken here are part of a national narrative being shared all across America today. This is the official national kickoff of Work Zone Awareness Week. Maryland DOT Secretary Pete Ron explains why we're here. Work zones are dangerous places. They're dangerous to be in for the drivers and for workers, and we urge every single person driving through a work zone, follow the speed limit, be observant of all signs, and watch out for our workers. The National Work Zone Memorial behind Ron contains the names of 1,443 fallen workers. Ron said educating drivers is part of the solution which is precisely why having the news media here was so important. Elizabeth Baker, regional administrator with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says 94 percent of all traffic crashes are related to bad driver behavior. And it's a, it's a shame to look at all these folks on this board here and think how many of them were taken because the driver that ran into, into them was distracted or impaired. Jack Van Steenberg, Assistant Administrator and Chief Safety Officer for the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, says almost 30 percent of work zone crashes involve large commercial trucks. Steenberg says new technology is being tested to bring that percentage down. In Alabama, they're using our grant funds to cre create an alert system for commercial vehicle drivers around work zones and crashes. Basically, it's a mobile app to alert them that there's an active work zone ahead. Martin Knopp, Associate Administrator for Operations at the Federal Highway Administration, says additional resources to pay for roadway safety improvements will also help. The President, as you've heard, is envisioning a trillion dollar in investment into the nation's infrastructure. Certainly transportation would be a big part of that vision. and. And that is a huge, critical amount of resources that if we can make that happen, can really help us apply safety countermeasures, improve the infrastructure, make it much safer on the facilities. And our highway workers are the ones that do that. Funding is a factor, but the biggest takeaway, the overarching message being delivered here, is that work zone safety is up to each and every driver, because once a life is taken, you can't get it back. Lori Moser's husband, Rick, died while doing his job in a Maryland work zone in 2007. It is my greatest wish that those who drive inattentively, negligently, recklessly, or aggressively through work zones hear this message and realize their careless actions hold the potential to irrevocably change many lives, including their own. A team of sponsors, including the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, supports this annual event. Every other year, a state DOT is selected to host the national kickoff event in their state. I'm very happy to announce that it's the Illinois DOT that will host the uh, great event in 2018. And here is uh, Illinois' uh, Public Information Officer Gianna Urgo. And if you would come up, I will pass along. Today, we are honored to receive the trophy uh, to take National Work Zone Safety Week to Illinois, and we will host the kickoff event next year in 2018. No one can say how many work zone crashes there will be in the weeks and months until next year's event, but America averages about 1,600 crashes in work zones every year. One is too many. 
That's why this year's poster reads, work zone safety is in your hands. Drive towards zero crashes.